When talking about the first house, we need to ask ourselves, what is the first house? The first house is the house of self-independence, life direction, identity, the physical body, appearance, and new beginnings. When the first house ruler is in the ninth house, this can make natives open-minded, philosophical, lucky, abundant, experienced. But this can also make natives arrogant with this position. These individuals can make great teachers or gurus because they're very experienced and wise. These individuals can also be very fortunate in life. Their past life deeds could be very great, if not malefic. Though if it is malefic, this can just cause delay to the past life blessings. Natives tend to focus on siblings, cousins, self-efforts, communications, community, and the mind. Karma can come through the physical health, routine, schedules, daily responsibilities, enemies, subordinates, and being of service. It is important to pay attention to physical development and health as well. Fulfillment can come through foreign lands, spiritual development, the subconscious mind, and dreams. Making sure that you're taking time to develop a relationship with the universe and taking time by yourself, this could be highly beneficial for you. Challenges can present itself through friends, network circles, humanitarianism, charities, hopes and wishes, also innovative ideas as well. Gains can come through relationships, partnerships, business, business contract, interpersonal connection, marriage, and union. But losses can present itself through home, home luxuries, real estate even. Feelings and emotions, authenticity, listening to your intuition will be highly favorable for you. Also, pay attention to any caregivers or any nurturers in your life. This can actually serve as a hindrance early on, but can get better with time. TRDL was brought to you by TRDL on the go with spiritual entertainment wrapped in a bow. Sextile, finance and harmony with sextile. And by Trezzo, T-R-E-S-C-Z-O, Trezzo.